Welcome back to Trends and Friends. I'm joined by Jolyn Payne from Rocking Pod Training and Kennels. And Easter is right around the corner. And it's yep. another one of those holidays where you got small objects, you got certain foods kind of lying around that you don't want your pups to get into. So we wanted to talk about pet safety. So really we'll let is. you dive on in. You know, every holiday, we tend to always talk about candy. Why do we think that we have to feed <laughs> ourselves all this sugar all the time? So, but really, right, Easter eggs, you have jelly beans, you have chocolate, you have Whoppers, you have all of these things and Easter baskets, and then we hide them. <laughs> and if you have as good a memory as I do, you forget where you hide them, well, and exactly. then what? You, you, then you have your pets that can get into that chocolate. I remember when I was a child, my parents would hide our Easter baskets, and we would have to find them. I don't even know if that's a thing, but that's what we <laughs> did when I was a kid. And so we would have to find our uh, find our Easter baskets. Well, if you have dogs in the house, that wouldn't be very conducive because whatever's in the Easter baskets could become something that they ingest. Yes. But sugar in general is not good for dogs. It's really not good for us, but okay. it's not good for dogs as well. But chocolate is a big thing and you don't want to have to run to the to the emergency vet exactly. on Sunday morning having to have your dog, you know, vomit up five pounds of chocolate. And so we want to prevent that. So make sure all the chocolate is up. Also Easter egg hunts. We want to make sure that when you are Easter egg hunting that you remember where you're putting the eggs so that all the eggs are collected when the children are down, done. Okay. And then if you're gonna use real eggs, you wanna make sure the same thing. Even though a hard boiled egg is not gonna hurt your dog, at the same time, if it sits out in the sun for a couple of days and then the dog finds it, then there might be some digestive upset. But for Easter, that's just the kid stuff. We also have meals, right? Yes. You have ham, you have um, scalloped potatoes, you have all those rich foods that we wanna make sure that the dog isn't doing a lot of counter surfing. If dogs get a lot of fat, what can happen is they can go into a pancreatitis um, crisis and we don't want that to happen either. Okay, so just basically watching your pets, mm -hmm. maybe doing the, okay, we have three kids, each kid gets 12 eggs, so we know, oh, we're missing an egg, so-and-so didn't get their Correct. equal number, Correct. just to make sure you're watching them. Right. And uh, would you recommend maybe if you were gonna put the eggs out with the chocolate in them, putting the dogs in another room until the Easter egg hunt is over? Absolutely, don't okay. have them hunting at the same time because those plastic eggs, we don't want the dogs choking on them as that's well. And so that's another problem is a choking hazard, correct. Okay, and as she mentioned, of course, you don't wanna be feeding your pets any of those rich foods. So maybe if you have family over, remind them, don't be feeding the dogs right. off the don't table. Be, don't be sticking that underneath the exactly, table. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Thank you so much for all the tips. Make You're sure welcome. to keep your pups safe this Easter. And uh, you have an Easter egg hunt as well that we wanna mention we do. before we go. So all of my rocking paw students, both past and current, we have a Easter egg hunt this coming Saturday. Saturday at 1 okay. p.m. we're gonna cook hamburgers, hot dogs. There will be over 2,000 eggs stuffed with dog treats out in the Rocking Paw field. I love it. Make sure to head on out to Rocking Paw and definitely give Jolyn a call if you want training, kennels, or anything when it comes to your pups. And of course, we'll be right back with more Trends and Friends.